In this video, we'll walk through an example of finding the area of a surface of revolution. Let's say we have the graph of the function y equals x squared plus 1. And that graph has revolved about the line y equals negative 3. Now, I've sketched this out here. This is in blue. This is the graph of y equals x squared plus 1. The orange line, that horizontal line, is y equals negative 3. That's the, the line of revolution or axis of revolution. Well, this is a little bit different than being revolved about the x-axis because the r, right, we have this integral, this formula that lets us find the, the uh, surface of revolution. Well, this is the important part, is r is that distance between the graph of the function and the line of revolution. So it's not just it's not just x squared plus one, right? Let's let's draw this out. This is this distance is x squared plus one. But we have an additional distance of three units. Because we're we are not revolving about the the x axis, we are revolving about this line y equals negative three. So we have an additional distance of three units. So our total distance, r of x, if you will, that distance between the graph and, and the line of revolution is x squared plus 1 plus the 3, so x squared plus 4. And that is what we'll plug in here for r of x. Okay, now we have what we need. Let's just start plugging this stuff in. So our surface area, the area of the surface revolution equals 2 pi times the integral. We have our limits of integration here from 0 to 2. That's, that's this line here to this line of x equals 2. And this whole thing is going to be revolved about, about this line uh, right here, y equals negative 3. Okay, so our limits of integration from 0 to 2. We already talked about this distance between the function and the line of revolution. That's x squared plus 4. x squared plus 4, we write that in there, times the square root of 1 plus the first derivative of y squared. So if y prime is 2x, then y prime squared would be 4x squared. So we'll put that in there, 4x squared. Now, with respect to x. So that, that is really the, the difficult part. Um, of this. You could you could plug this into a calculator and, and find the answer, but setting this up, setting up the integral, um, you, you can't plug it into the calculator until you can set this up. So once you have it, then you could, of course, make an approximation if you want to know what the surface area is, that is, this surface area, when you revolve this thing around, well, that is approximately 27.0 six. But again, the big deal is this. I can't emphasize this enough. It's not this this distance is not just the the function itself, but it's that distance from the function to that line of revolution.